What's up, everybody? So welcome back. So today we are talking about the stock market. And if you're invested in the stock market right now, guys, you would know that there has been pain almost every single day for the last two months. The market is down over 35 percent in the Nasdaq. And uh, but I have so much to talk about today and particularly for the last two months of the last couple months of 2022. I think I do think there is going to be some kind of rally, although we don't no one has a crystal ball but in this video today guys i'm going to be talking about some of the best stocks to buy right now a lot of stocks are just massacred and at a massive discount it's almost like going black friday shopping okay so i know this is not funny for people who are invested in the market but if you have any cash right now it would be a really this is a very very unusual time and also a very unusual opportunity to get into the stock market uh, you rarely see such huge discounts on companies like AMD, NVIDIA, Meta, Google. They're, all, they're about 30% down. Guys, it is incredible uh, right now how much the stock market has gone down. And so I'm going to be talking about the best stocks to buy, what I'm buying myself, what I've been buying. Uh, just some of the wins from last week. So we always got to celebrate some, some wins because uh, that's how we stay motivated and encouraged. You know, you always find opportunities to make money, whether the market goes down or up. And then lastly, uh, I'm going to be talking about specific stocks that that uh, are in the small tech or just the small cap stocks that I'm buying. Uh, I'm going to be talking about tech and growth stocks I'm buying. And I'm going to be talking about option ideas. OK, so this is a channel uh, that definitely does talk about options because I do think options is a great idea especially if you're selling options if you're buying options you might have lost a lot more money than you would have wanted to but if you're selling options you're essentially just getting stocks at a discount okay so even though it's still not pleasant because you're essentially having to buy stocks if you're selling put options at the very least you're not losing out all your money with buying call options okay so uh if you find this video helpful at all i would really appreciate a like and subscribe if you want to follow me for more videos, I would appreciate that. Okay, so I'm going to be using uh, SeekingAlpha.com today. SeekingAlpha.com is one of our partners, and I've been using Seeking Alpha for over you know two years, and it's been an incredible service. Uh, really, very simple. You know, it, it basically just aggregates or puts together a lot of analysts and opinions and thoughts on different companies. Almost every single stock or company you can find on SeekingAlpha.com. And while this is not the only resource I use to look up information on stocks, it's very, very helpful, right? And of course, there's other resources that are great too, but Seeking Alpha is just one of the tools that I personally use myself. Uh, check it out yourself in the link below. Okay, so without further ado, guys, talking about some of the stocks I'm buying, but before that, let's talk about some of the wins from last week. Okay, so uh, XPO. Okay, so XPO Logistics. Uh, as you can see, uh, was one of the stocks that I had bought into this past quarter, and uh, you know it was it was going down quite a bit. Okay, especially from J September through uh, the beginning of October, and October we started seeing a little bit of a rise, and so I essentially doubled down. I bought 100, and I sold cover calls, and essentially I'm I'm you know almost getting called away because I sold a cover call at fifty dollars. Because so basically what it means is. If the stock hits fifty dollars, I would be called away uh, my hundred shares of XBO. But I get paid a premium, and on top of that, I made a nice little profit on XBO. Okay, so just one of the companies I was really bullish on uh, in the trucking industry, and I just felt that the stock was hammered too much, and we saw a quick rise. But it doesn't normally happen like that. Okay, so but just one of the wins I want to celebrate uh, from the last couple of weeks. So. Okay, now moving on to stocks that I am buying for the rest of 2022 and definitely into 2023, depending on how the stock market moves. And let's just start with some of the growth companies, some of the growth and tech companies. Okay, so the first stock ticker is Meta. Okay, so there are a lot of haters right now. So many people on Wall Street hate Meta. You know, Mark Zuckerberg just came out with essentially their, uh, you know, their, their product for the metaverse. Uh, if you have not checked it out, check it out yourself. Uh, I, I like to think of it as basically the iPhone, okay, the iPhone of Meta, okay, except it's not an iPhone at all, you know, it has a very, very different capabilities, but at, le at the very least, it's allowing for 
developers to come in and build on uh, the hardware. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to talk about too much about it, but Meta has so much potential because of all the apps it still has, Facebook, uh, Instagram, you know, these are all apps that are that are extremely valuable. And, uh, you know, with with so much cash in the bank, Meta is just not going to be going anywhere anytime soon. And if you take a look at the stock, it's been hammered so much. Right. And in the very in the very beginning of the year, it was trading at three hundred thirty four dollars. And right now it's been hammered down to one hundred twenty seven dollars. So it's down 60 percent year to date. 62% year to date, trading at a P ratio of 13.07, guys. That is insane. It is valued at the valuation of a value company. Okay, so value companies like companies that are very, very cheap, right? And whereas, but we know that Meta is actually considered a growth company, right? Meta has continuously uh, evolved and continued to invest in uh, not only apps, but this whole idea of the metaverse that no one likes right now, but the moment we start to see some kind of pivot, whether it be one year, two years, three years, Meta is gonna be an explosive company that is gonna continue to grow massively. Okay, so right now I'm just picking up shares left and right. I really like Meta because uh, I do see the vision in Mark Zuckerberg, even though Wall Street hates it. Uh, I see the valuation of the company as just insane. If you take a look at some of the analysis, you know, you can take a look yourself, uh, especially if you're subscribed. If you're not subscribed to Seeking Alpha, I think you get about three or four articles free per day, something like that. But guys, there's partnerships with Microsoft, there's partnerships with you know developers. There is just so much in the pipeline for Meta and for it to be valued at a, a value stock, 13.07 P ratio, that is just crazy, right? And you know, the sure, the, the, the headset that Mark Zuckerberg came out with may not be the best thing available uh, today, right? There, there's, there's probably other, uh, you, know, you know, similar devices that are uh, comparable, if not better, but at the very least, right? I think Mark Zuckerberg is leading uh, the metaverse in, uh, you know, just the way that it's gonna grow and the way it's gonna expand into essentially connecting people all over the world. Okay, so the second stock is Google. Okay, so Google, I'm sure you've, you've heard of it at some point in your life. Google Alphabet is insane as well, right? Year to date, it's down about almost 30%. Guys, this stock was trading at, you know, it just couldn't go down for the longest time. And the reason being, you know, very good reason. There, there was so much in the pipeline. Uh, there, there's so many apps that Google has been continuing to develop. They're basically changing the world every single day with everything they're, they're coming out with and uh you know it's cheap it's, it's cheap because they uh they have you know billions hundreds of billions of dollars in cash uh they are uh you know i i really love the leadership the vision of google uh there you know i i can't just there's just so much right about google that we can talk about but it's just a company that uh will continue to grow it has youtube it has uh, you know, applications that, uh, you know, like on Google Drive, uh, you know, it, it, one, one of my friends even is even developing a lot of things with uh, speech recognition. And uh, it's, it's really uh, a company that will continue to change the world. And for it to sell at $98.90, it is very, very cheap. P ratio of 19.06. Guys, to me, this is certainly a no brainer. Okay, so I'm actually trying to pick up, uh, you know, uh, enough shares to sell covered calls on because essentially, you know, once I have 100 shares, I can sell covered calls, which basically means that every two weeks or three weeks, I can collect a couple hundred dollars uh, if the stock doesn't pop up too much. And if the stock does pop up, then I would not only be getting the premium on the covered call, but I would also be getting uh, the stock sold at a higher price. Okay. And uh, you know, I'll try and show you some of those options to play later. Later, okay. So, uh, the the next growth stock is Fubo. Okay, so I've talked about Fubo a lot in my channel, and I'm going to be talking about that. I'm going to be talking about that later. Uh, you know, and with the option trade ideas, but Fubo, there is you know one analyst that uh, has uh, you know a sell rating, and it's because yes, Fubo is not yet profitable, but Fubo guys is a company that is. It is insane, right? It's it's in the sports 
um, super streaming industry and they have a million subscribers paying about $70 a month. So that is a lot of money. They're, they're a company that can definitely com compete with, uh, you know, eventually companies like, you know, Roku and even Netflix, right? Even though they're, they're still different companies, essentially sports streaming is something that is going to continue to grow. And especially with, you know, just football season coming up and, uh, you know, different uh, sports seasons coming up. This is something that I think is going to see a rally, especially into 2023. And so Fubo is just a company I'm just continuing to pile on uh, in shares. And uh, I'm also selling covered calls because I own uh, quite a few shares. And uh, to get into it, I'm selling put options, right? So uh, essentially getting a discount because there's, there is quite a bit of volatility with Fubo. Uh, but I do think this is one of the stocks that has a, the highest potential, right? I haven't seen a stock that has so much potential in a long time, ever since Tesla but Fubo is definitely one of them. Okay, so, and again, later on, I'm gonna show you uh, some of the option plays for that. Okay, so let's just go back to uh, my timeline just to make sure we're on track. So we talked about the best stocks, or we are talking about the best stocks to buy. Talked about the win from last week, some small cap, so Fubo. Oh, actually I switched around. So, so I talked about tech and growth, uh, which is Meta, Google, and Fubo. Uh, let's talk about small cap stocks. Okay, so small cap stocks, and then I'll close it out with some option ideas. Okay, so small cap stocks, I would actually consider Fubo one of the small cap stocks, right? Fubo is trading at uh, $3.83, so $3.85, has a market cap of $676 million. Anything under $1 billion, in my opinion, is considered small cap. So uh, Fubo is one of them. Another company that is small cap, uh, there's two more that I, I am bullish on is the Honest Company. Okay, so the Honest Company, Jessica Alba's company is hammered, is trashed, right? In this past year, it's gone down, uh, let's see, about 60% year to date. Guys, there's so many stocks on sale, but you know, in, in these circumstances, you really have to pinpoint the stocks that you are most bullish on because these are stocks that are going to make you a lot of money whenever the market does turn around and we do see some kind of rally. And so Honest is one of those companies that have just been hammered so much the other year because no one wants to buy it. Everyone wants to sell Honest. And but the, the thing that most people aren't talking about is, you know, how much is in the pipeline for Honest, right? Uh, it's, it's partnered with Alta Beauty. It's, it's you know, they're uh, getting distributed to uh, over 400 stores. And the, the main kicker, right, the main kicker for Honest is just the fact that they got into Walmart, right? Walmart is essentially free marketing for any company, right? Even though the margins are not that great, you're essentially getting your brand and your products in front of millions, tens of millions of people uh, that will know about your product and will buy it either online or continue to buy it from, from retail. And, you know, with Honest, there's, there's just, you know, uh, it's an incredible company led by uh, an awesome leadership. Uh, they, they've been uh, taking a lot of executives from, from big companies like Johnson Johnson. And uh, I just see this company as, you know, one that has hammered so much but has so much massive potential, especially in the upcoming years. So Honest is the company that I am buying left and right, and I would continue to recommend uh, buying as much as you can uh, in this company. Okay, the, the other stock is the, the Tattoo Chef, so stock ticker TTCF. Okay, so uh, the Tattoo Chef, if you have not heard about it, it's basically uh, a company that, uh, that sells pizza, sells uh, vegan foods, vegetarian foods, and uh, frozen, you know, frozen foods that are healthy, are, are uh, mindful of uh, animals and uh, just are, is, is a very innovative company, right? Again, this is another company that is also in, in Walmart. It just recently got into Walmart. Um, there's a lot of, you know, bad rep about it because this stock is one of the companies that will get hammered whenever Wall Street decides to play with it, right? Because it's trading, at a market cap of $367 million, uh, you know, any institution or hedge fund that wants to either put money into it or sell it can drastically change the stock price. And that's what we've seen, especially in the last couple of months. But year to date, it's down about 75%. Uh, guys, again, this is a company that I do not think warrants such a big drop in price, but the stock has continued to drop because their margins are not that great, right? They're 
uh, their their profitability is not uh, there yet. But th it's definitely one of the companies that, guys. If anytime you get into Walmart, again, free marketing. You know, people will know about you. Your margins are not that great, but. The thing is, you're, as you improve your supply chains, as you improve the way, uh, you, you know, the margins or the, the, the cost of getting your product onto the shelves, you're going to see profitability come very, very quickly, right? Anytime you have mass revenue come in, so long as you're able to adjust your supply chain, so long as you're, you know, you, you produce products at a very, very efficient rate, you know, your company is going to excel very, very quickly, as we've seen with Tesla, right? The the king of supply chain, Elon Musk, uh, the reason why Tesla was such a big hit was really because of its uh, supply chain superiority, right? Uh, whereas a lot of companies took a lot longer to produce EV vehicles. Uh, Tesla took much, much shorter time span to, to get EV vehicles produced and delivered. And this is one of the companies that I really think is going to grow massively the next couple, you know, upcoming years, uh, because not only do they have a great product, but they're also into Walmart. And so long as they continue to improve supply chains, they're going to do great. Okay, so uh, so those are so Fubo, Honest Company, Tattoo Chef, are the uh, the, uh, the small cap companies that I recommend. And again, growth in tech will be Meta, Facebook, and Fubo. Okay, so Fubo is also considered a growth company. Okay, so these are just six stocks that I'm very, very bullish on. Now let's talk about option place. Okay, so the reason why I love options is because options essentially give you a discount on the stock or it gives you premium on the upside. Okay, so the only strategies I use these days, especially in this volatile market, is selling puts or selling covered calls. By the way, guys, if you see this, this is my account on, on Robinhood. I don't have a lot of buying power. It's not because I'm that poor. Well, it is because I'm not that rich. But uh, this is actually just one of my fun accounts that I trade with. And so this is not my primary account. I use uh, the brokerage I use is called Interactive Brokers because it allows, uh, you know, if I ever needed margin or if I, you know, if I sold options and if I needed to cover my positions, uh, Interactive Brokers has one of the lowest uh, loan rates on stocks. So you can get it at less than 2.0%. I have a link in below where you can get up to thousand dollars in free stocks if you open up if you open up an account with Interactive Brokers, uh, check it out yourself. But anyways, so with Fubo, I'm definitely selling options. So right now, you know, if I go into my brokerage and I, if I if I sell put options, I can go out to you know November fourth, you know two or three weeks, and look at this, guys. You're essentially getting ten percent off the stock. Okay, so basically, if the stock goes up, then you just collect. $32 if the stock goes down to $3.50, not only are you getting a discount on the stock, but you're also getting paid 10% of premium just to open up that position. Guys, if you'd open up, if you get 10%, uh, you know, you know, in premiums uh, every, let's just say every month, right? If you do it for a year, you're up over 100%. And, you know, if you have $318 in your account, you can do that right away. So it does not require a lot of money. Um, and so this is just one of the companies that I really like selling put options. And on the flip side, let's, let's say you do have a couple shares or you have at least 100 shares. For every 100 shares, you can sell covered calls, right? So on the upside, you know, let's say you're, you don't mind selling a stock at $4.50 or even $5, right? You can collect premiums. You know, this is just a freebie, right? You collect $16 and a stock goes up to $5, you're also collecting a profit. So it'd be five dollars minus three dollars and eighty-three cents. That's what a dollar and seventeen cents profit plus uh, the premium that you collect. So essentially, it's always it's really always a win-win. The only time you really lose is for some reason Fubo shoots up to like seven dollars and you miss out on the you know the the you know, some of the gains. But guys, in my opinion, it's just it's more of a matter of if you're just not greedy and you're fine with selling the stock at a certain price then it would totally make sense to sell covered calls. Okay, so Fubo is a stock I love right now to sell put options and cover calls. Uh, but other one that I really like to, to do is with the Tattoo Chef. Okay, so now this one I would I would warn that it, it is a very, very volatile stock again because the market cap is smaller and because Wall Street can do really whatever they want with it. But uh, you know, on the downside, on the upside, there's pretty good premiums. 
Right now, if you sell, you know, out to four dollars, you're collecting about. Uh, this is actually not probably not right. So I think you usually collect a little more. Um, but you know, that, essentially the same idea, right? You're selling put options to get get a discount. Uh, the stock drops, you would be forced to buy 100 shares. On the upside, you'll be forced to sell it, but you also collect premiums as well. Okay, so the last one I am going to be talking about today is Google. Okay, so Google uh, was a stock that I never could have traded options on before because it was, I think it was like a $2,000 stock uh, before and now after a 21 split, it's down to something more reasonable, right? Before, you know, I don't think I could have, you know, really afforded 100 shares at uh, $2,000 a piece. But now that it's trading at $98, you know, it's very, very doable. Okay, so you essentially would need uh, you know, about ten thousand dollars, and uh, you can you can you can also sell put options. Okay, so put options is something that's definitely possible. If you sell out, let's say a couple weeks out, you can you can collect about four hundred dollars. So four hundred dollars is not that bad, especially if we're getting Google at a discount. Um, and so you would be collecting about four hundred dollars off of collateral of nine thousand dollars, which is actually not that bad if you think about it. It's about five percent return in uh, you know about you know less than a month. And if you do that for 12 months, you know, that's, uh, what, that's five times, so 60% return. So that's, that's great. Uh, and let's say you do get assigned at $97. If you have hundred shares of Google, you can turn it around and sell it on the upside. Okay. So you can sell covered calls, which is essentially what I'm trying to do. And you can collect a couple hundred dollars, uh, on the upside. So if the stock goes up, you will be forced to sell your shares, but at the same time, you will be collecting a nice premium. Okay. So, uh, these are just some of the companies that I'm uh, selling options on. I'm doing uh, selling put options and selling covered calls. Uh, it's basically called a wheel strategy. And uh, these are stocks I'm bullish on, guys, for the rest of 2022, 2023, small cap growth uh, tech. I am still buying into commodities and oil, but I'm not covering that in, the, in this video today. Um, but anyways, yeah, if you find this content helpful at all, if you, uh, you want to... Uh, hear more videos and uh, see what i have to say make sure to like and subscribe i'd really really appreciate it thank you so much for watching guys and we'll see you around in the next video